So a lot of crazy things have been happening lately with the stock market. And you may know some people that are like 10 or 12 years old and they're making money on the stock market. But is it legal? Guess what? I'm wearing Crocs. Also, very sorry guys, I know I've been gone for so long and I owe you guys so much apologies, you have no idea, but that will come in another video. I don't wanna bore anyone with a super long intro, but long story short. I quit my 10 year long job, graduated from film school, started my own company, got super sick, got over COVID, and now we're here. So let's go ahead and get into the video. And if you are under the age of 18 or 21, depending on the state that you live in, then you probably want to start investing your money. And you may know some people that are like 10 or 12 years old and they're making money on the stock market. Other investors include 10 year old Jaden. I saw the price, there's no way. Like She gave him 10 shares of GameStop for Kwanzaa. At the time, it was worth about six bucks a share. But is it legal? Not really. With that being said, let's get into it. So first things first, how old do you have to be to invest in the stock market? You have to be over the age of 18 or 21, depending on the state that you live in. So I do recommend you checking your state laws to make sure that you are of the age. However, this video is for minors, anyone that is under the age of 18. So that's what we're mainly gonna be focusing on. How old do you have to be to sign up for apps like Robinhood, Stash, or Acorns? You have to be over the age of 18, and they do verify this using a social security number when signing up for the app. So I don't recommend lying about it, and we'll get more into that later later and um, other ways for that. And they will verify that your social security number is legit and you are over 18. Even if you do get away with it for a few days, they eventually will find out. They will close down your account. They will gamble off your money and you'll lose it forever. I'm just kidding. I don't know what they do with your money when they close down your account, but it's not good. The next thing is, how do you invest if you're a teen or underage? There are so many different ways. There are legal ways, there are illegal ways, and there are some mm, kind of illegal ways but we're gonna try to go through each of those and I'm not recommending for you to do one over the other and I'm not teaching you how to do the illegal ways or not to do it or whatever it may be but I'm just giving information now we're gonna go more in depth on the legal way a custodial account now I know what you're thinking what is a custodial account how does it work how do you withdraw the money who's in charge of this money all valid questions let's get into it a custodial account is an account that is set up by a parent or guardian and you are giving this money to your kids so it is very very important that if you are a parent watching this or you are a kid showing your parent this video that this money is no longer yours it is legally no longer yours once you sign up for a custodial account and you put the money into the account so let's say that you put in a hundred dollars into a custodial account and for some reason your kids buy a stock that jumps up to a million dollars that is not your million dollars that is your kids million dollars and once they turn of age 18 or 21 depending on the state that they live in they get a hundred percent access to that account and are able to do with what they please with that money so you may not like it but that's just how it is is it possible to withdraw money once you put it into a custodial account yes it is but of course you have to jump through some more hoops in order to withdraw the money if you sign up for an app like stash acorns or robin hood normally you can just you know deposit withdraw deposit withdraw whenever you would like but for a custodial account since the money is no longer yours as a parent it is your kids and for their well-being or for whatever they want you have to physically call dash or acorns on the telephone and uh, let them know why you are withdrawing the money what you are doing with the money and that you are using the money for your child and it is not going on you to go buy cigarettes or shoes or, or whatever it may be so that's all you just have to prove that the money is going for them because it is their money is the money taxable yes all of the money in the stock market is taxable and that even goes for custodial accounts if you have money in a custodial account and you're making a lot of money when your kid or you turn 18 or 21 then you are going to have to pay taxes on all of the gains for that account you are going to get taxed based on your parents tax bracket of course not a tax specialist or whatever i'm just telling you the information based on the, my research and experience and now for the fun part which app is the best if you want to make a custodial account for your kids teens or if it is you showing this to your parent unfortunately you are not able to use robin hood which is one of the most popular apps right now robin hood does not have a custodial feature for your kids or teens however there are really two options unless you use a broker if you're like in the 70s but you could use either Stash, which has a account for $9 a month, which allows you one adult account, one banking account, one retirement account, and two custodial accounts. And then you can also pay extra for more. And then we have Acorns, which is $5 a month, which allows you one adult account, one retirement account, one banking account, and two custodial accounts, which you can also buy more later if you want. There is some illegal ways, which you're lying about your age. 
you're using <coughs> fake social security numbers or you're just Googling <coughs> social security numbers, and I'm not saying to do it, but I'm just saying that those are ways that some kids are getting into the stock market. And I'm not saying to do it, but I'm saying that that is a possibility. And then there are some iffy ways, less than legal ways, but still probably legal, which is your parent or guardian or someone over the age of 18 who is allowing you to use their social security number, allowing you, and they gave you access. But I wouldn't recommend you signing up by yourself. I would ask them to sign up for an account for you. And what they're going to do is sign up using their birthday, their names, their social security number, and all of that. And then they're gonna allow you to invest your money into the account. The way this works is that you're gonna give them your allowance money or your money from washing cars or mowing lawns or whatever it may be. They put it into their bank account and then they transfer it into your Robinhood or whatever app you choose to use. And then you are free to use that money in that app to buy, sell, and trade stocks on your own. However, which one is the best? I think that Stash is the best, just in my personal opinion. Of course, you can always try them out both on your own and see which one works best. Of course, it does cost $9, this one is $5, but however, I just think that Stash has the better option. Stash has always had fractional sharings or ETF, which if you don't know what that is, it's because you can buy fractions of a stock, which is just amazing. So say Amazon is $1,000. If you wanted to buy that stock on Robinhood, you had to have $1,000. If you wanted to buy it with a broker, you had to have the full amount of the money in order to buy that stock. How However, when you want to buy that $1,000 stock with Stash, you can put in $5, $10, $20, $50, $100, $100, whatever it may be, and you can start buying pieces, 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 and eventually you'll have 100% of that stock, which is how I did get started. However, this isn't an app review. With Acorn, I've tried them out. You don't really have control over the uh, stocks and shares that you buy. You just put money in there and they randomly just buy and sell shares on your behalf, I believe. Uh, that's what it looked like when I put money in there. I didn't really make anything. I lost more money than anything. So I just just don't like them. Not saying that they're a bad app. I just never can figure them out. With that being said, we're pretty much done with this video. I do appreciate you guys staying to the end. If you did stay to the end, and I appreciate all of you who are my loyal subscribers and who have been here throughout me not uploading in months. And uh, I do hope to upload more videos in the future, especially about stocks. I do want to help younger people be able to start invest. I do think it's a good idea if you are underage and you want to start investing. I do think it's a very good idea to get into the game as early as possible. There's no point to just hide the money in under your bed and collect dust when it can be making money. Your money should be making money always. With that being said, thank you guys very much for stopping by. I do appreciate it. And if you did like this video, let me know. I would love to do more investing videos as well. I'm not really sure where we're gonna take this channel from here, but we're just gonna have fun, I guess. And we'll see where it goes. With that being said, thank you guys very much. I do appreciate it. And I guess I'll see you guys in the future or later on. Thank you, bye.